sorry about that. Um, apparently my phone overheated, so it shut off the recording by itself. Anyways, uh, make sure when you do the cable that the metal parts, the connector goes underneath. Um, there are some holes on the side of the screen connector, um, uh, um, part of the screen, so that you can actually tell that you're um, getting it underneath. And then just pull this um, adhesive strip all the way back. And I like to also use my fingernails to kind of pull the connector in and make sure it's seated all the way. All right, once you do that, you can seat the screen back in. The only problem with this model um, or the design is the okay is the um, hinge cover. You have to have that already in um, to put the screen back in. Otherwise, you have to take it all back out just to put that screen cover back on. So it's kind of sucks, but um yeah. So let's put this hinge cover. Oh, we have to put the hinge this thing first, the screen bezel. So it's gonna suck. I'm gonna peel this off. Hopefully the screen's okay. I, I don't like this design because I have to take all this stuff off. Otherwise I have to take it apart again. Like if I need to, once I confirm it's okay. So instead I'm just gonna assume it's okay. And if it has issues, I guess I'll have to deal with it. So we'll put this frame back in, all right? Line this up. Right. It has enough, just go. Yeah. You're just going to the dentist, right? It's not even two miles. Okay, so snap this in. My brother's worried that there's not enough gas. He's driving my car. And he's not filling up himself. I guess he expects me to fill it and then he just pays me, but yeah. So anyways, snap these in. Okay, I guess since I have the Costco card. All right, so snap these in place. All right, get the top in. This side is being a little weird. Takes a little bit of force. There we go. Looks like we got all these snapped in. And then the bezel, it's held in, it holds in the bottom piece. So just put this back on top. All right, so since you had to squeeze it, oh, again, we have to move these hinges back. Okay, so that way we can get this piece over it. Go and then seat the bottom half first. After you get that, then you can squeeze it and push the top end in as well. All right, so there we go. We got the whole screen reassembled. So hopefully this thing is gonna work properly. Open the hinge back. All right, if these hinges are too tough for you to move, one trick you can do is use the screwdriver and then um, stick the screwdriver in and you can use that to like twist it okay you might need to use a smaller bit this one's kind of a little bit big all right so there we go now we will reassemble um, let's take this Lay it down all right all the cables go underneath the hinges so just remember you have to guide them into these the slots here so we'll start with the wireless antenna, all right, and then we'll go on this side. Oh, I don't know if you can even see what I'm doing, but basically make sure it gets in the slot, okay. Just like that. And then you have to hold this out and then reattach the screws. So there's one here, another one, oops. My, oops, I'm putting the wrong screws. Those are the battery screws. Okay, so reattach the screws. Hopefully, I don't know if you can see this because the camera angle might be messed up now. But basically, put the screw 
bolts back for the hinges. All right. Usually for this, the screw for the hinges, I like to use um, thread locker. Uh, oh yeah, you can't see that. Let me adjust this. Okay. So put the screws in. So usually I'll like to add thread locker um, so that way the screws can't come back out. Okay. Just tighten it up. So to do that, what you do, put the screws back in, put the screen back or the, the frame and everything back down. All right. All right. Once you've done that, then I'll take the, this thread locker stuff. All right. And then I'll take the screw out. Usually don't do this over um, the electronics if there's the board there because you don't want to drip it on there. Um, here's, so just put a little drip. Oh, see, it dripped on there. So kind of have to be careful. This thing is going crazy. So that's what I mean. It can drip. So luckily I kept it over a spot that doesn't have any electronic areas. It's just a um, solid piece of metal. So we'll clean that off. I guess it has the overflow that it spilled out. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. All right, clean off all that red stuff. All right, so we got that one screw with thread locker. And then we'll do the rest of the screws with thread locker as well. Let me move the camera back. Okay. So we get the other screws and add the thread locker as well. I'm going to do this off camera because it's too much, too annoying to go back and forth. So just so I don't end up dripping it. Oops, what happened? Okay. Just like that. And then we'll put the thread locker on these two. This makes sure that the screws don't come loose because a lot of times these laptops, the screws will come loose and then it'll end up breaking the mounts for the screws and then the hinges will just fall apart. Okay, there we go. So now the hinges are all tight in place. That bottle away. Now we have to guide all the um, cables back through. Okay, so we got the LCD cable. Reconnect this one. So we'll guide it over there. Okay. All right, now it's in. Put the latch down. All right. And then the wireless antenna, it goes through all these little um, areas, so make sure to guide it through. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Guide it back through where it came out from. Just like that. Okay. And then put back in the antenna. I'm going to have to turn this so I have a better view. This one's a little tricky with the way the antenna's routed. It doesn't stay in the right spot. So just be one thing you could do is unroute it, connect the antenna. Okay. Just like that. And then try and guide the wire through. Just like that. Alright, so that's that. Now we just gotta put everything else back, put the battery. Um, put the case, put the CD drive, and we're good to go, uh, as long as the screen wasn't damaged in shipping. So, we'll put this back. All right. Put it all back up. Put the screws back in. Okay. 
just like this. Now that we've got all those screws in, we'll put the bottom cover back on. All right, snap it in place. Snap, make sure to snap back in that middle clip as well. All right, got it all clipped in. So I'll always test this before putting everything back. I will put the two screws um, underneath the CD drive. All right. Just so if it does work, I don't have to take everything back out. Okay. Got that. All right. Now we just put the CD drive back in. Just like that. And now let's see if the screen is good. Okay. See, the battery might be dead on this. Let me plug it in. Also, sometimes when you disconnect the battery for um, safety, I guess it disables the, the power to the board. So it might not be a dead battery. It might just be that security feature. Okay, let's plug it in. Charge light comes on and powered up. All right, I heard the CD drive start up. So let's see, hopefully everything will come up. Did it go? Hmm. This doesn't have like a power LED, so I don't know if the computer is actually on. Oh wait, yeah it does, it's on this side. Hmm, so it's staying off right now. Oh, there we go, okay. It just took a while to reinitialize since the battery was taken out. So here you go, it says CMO, CMOS was reset. Um, so there's this, the light here, that's how you know it's on. If you replace the, or if you take the battery out, just know that it's gonna take a while to start up. It always scares me like that. So it'll take a while to start up, and then after that, um, it should be okay. So I'm gonna power it up, make sure everything works okay. Now you see it's working fine. So the screen's good. Um, so hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe because that'll help me. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Um, again, just snap everything back in place and then put the screws in and you'll be good to go. All right. Bye.